Hey, River City Live, the Smoke and Mirrors Jack Screw here with What's Good Jacks, bringing you some magic to your living room. Uh, we hope you enjoy this, and we look forward to seeing you when this is all over. I'm about to teach you a trick. How does that sound? That sounds good. Okay. Now, what I have here is several choices of crayon colors, and I want to teach you this tonight, teach the viewers at home how to do this trick. I'm going to be able to read your mind. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is go ahead and take all these colors. I want you to choose one. I'm going to turn my back because I don't want to see. I'm going to choose one color. You put it into my hands and then hide the rest of them. Okay? All right. All right. When you're ready. Have that color right in your hands? Yep. Now, I don't yet know what it is, correct? Hide those. I don't want to see. Can't see. Now, I want you to actually look into my mind because, or look into my eyes. <laughs> now, I want it warm, cool. It's a cool color, right? In fact, I think this one almost matches your shirt. Did you choose the color green? Yes. You did? I almost said no, but yes. And would you like to learn that so you can teach your your yeah, friends, impress friends, dads, maybe your children at home. Okay. Okay. Let's see all those colored crayons. I chose a random assortment of eight colors, but whatever you can grab, you can go ahead and do this trick. The secret all relies in presentation. Mm. When you hand somebody and instruct them to choose one, put it into your hands, that's the easiest process of all of this. So if you would do that again, I want to pretend that I am behind my back and you give me a color. Okay. Go ahead and hide the rest of them. Here is the secret action. Behind my back, when I tell you I'm about to read your mind, I am scraping some of the crayon onto my nail and I can see that right there. <laughs> so when I bring my hand out in front, my right hand remains hidden behind my back I can see on my nail a small chunk of white crayon. And from there, it's just a bunch of acting. You can talk about the dark times we're all facing sneaky, being stuck at home. How, sneaky, sneaky. Perhaps if it's a bright color, you say you're a really bright individual, you like warmth. <laughs> and then you finally reveal what the color is of your choosing and mind blown after mine being red. Man, that is what's good. And you can easily do that at home with any color, repeatable. Show your friends when you get back to school. Parents, show your children. This is a good one to teach everybody. Blow other people's minds. That blew my mind until I just learned it. But. Now, obviously, uh, I'm not making a lot right now. Gigs have kind of slowed down, but here's what I want to do. Um, you got any money on me? You're gonna rob me already. Absolutely. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, this $100 bill can be $100 bill. Now, pocket. I don't want to touch it. I don't want uh, to... I don't necessarily trust. We need lies. So right exactly. We haven't sanitized that bill. But what I want you to do is I want you to sign your name across that bill. Because when you see it again, I want you to know without a shadow of a doubt, that's your bill. This doesn't make it worthless, does it? Because, uh... Now, make sure you get a nice close-up on that. Make sure you get Matt's face. Because he did just commit a uh, federal crime. And I want there to be video evidence. Oh, that I was involved. man. Now, Matt, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to fold that in half. We're going to make your your $100 bill. We're going to make it disappear. Fold it hot dog style. Hot, hot dog, dog style. Okay. Now, fold it in half, end over end. Yeah. Boom, just like that. And make it real tight. Now, I don't know if you have any experience with this or not, but I want you to try and roll that bill as tight as you can. So you can roll <laughs> it up. Because the trick, if you're going to make something disappear, <laughs> this, is a little, this is a little magician's secret. I've got plenty of experience, Ryan. Okay. Before you can make it disappear, you've actually got to make it smaller. You know, they don't they don't tell you that all the time. Do you have a, a magic handkerchief? It's all right. I need oh. one. I have one here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take that dollar bill, and I want you to hold on to that right there. Sure. All right. Got it? Yeah. All right. Now, do you happen to have a, uh, a magic wand? Shh. <laughs> I think I, uh... No, I no, something. I don't have a magic wand today. Okay. Here I left it at the house, I guess. Here, I got one you can borrow. Oh, nice, oh, man. Uh, there you go. <laughs> is that, uh, <laughs> does that happen often, Matt? I'm oh, sorry, they got the... Uh, don't worry about it. All right. I, uh... Here, you can use the wand. All right, so what I want you to do <laughs> is I want you to wave the wand over the, uh, over the handkerchief. Okay. All right, and you're going to say the magic words. You're going to say Duval. 
Duval. <laughs> Can't say that without saying it that way. That was perfect. <laughs> right, let's see if it. Uh, let's, let's see if it worked. Whoa. It's coming. We gotta make a comeback, though. I'm a magician. Well, all right, Jeez. but um, tell you what. Why do we need you here? Because of the coronavirus, I think it would be fitting. What's uh, what's something that everybody has been uh, equating the coronavirus to incorrectly has to do with a, uh, a certain beverage. Corona. Corona exactly. beer. They've been getting a lot of bad press lately, and I feel, I for one, feel bad about that. Now, I don't have any Corona beer um, because they ran out, but what goes good with a Corona? Lime. A lime. Or a Funny you shot. should say that. <laughs> nice. A lime. Now, Matt, I'm sure you're wondering why that knife is here. I am now. Matt, could you do me a favor? Sure. Can you, right in the middle, can you just cut that lime in half? Just right there. Yep, just cut into it and just kind of cut all the way around. Just cut in a circle. Yep, just like that. And can you do me a favor? Can you open that lime up for me? Oh my. What's in, <laughs> what's in Matt, what's inside of that lime? Better not be my hundred dollar bill, man. That thing's ruined. <laughs> but there's one way for us to know if it was your hundred dollar bill, and how is that, Matt? Because I signed that, Joker. Oh, Could you do me yeah. a favor? Could you unroll that? What? Oh my God, dude! <laughs> what? Dude, I that was whole. As a real estate agent.